Hello and welcome, my name is Andrew Grant. In this video we're going to have a look at putting a button onto the standard toolbar in Visual Studio 2019 that will enable us to do single click class creation in C++ and C Sharp. And whilst we're at it we're going to pop in a keyboard shortcut to do the same thing. So the first thing that we're going to do is put the button onto the standard toolbar. This is the standard toolbar, this up here, and to customize it you click on this little button here where it says standard toolbar options I will zoom in so you can see this one here small button little arrow with a line on top right so you click on that add or remove buttons float over that come down to customize and you come up with the customize dialog so well, I'll just expand that so you can see what I'm doing make sure you in command toolbar and then standard or if you click on it you can go to any other toolbar and then I like the button to appear just after new project so I'm going to click on open file obviously you can put it wherever you wish so and then I'm going to click on add command and we come up with the add command I'll just expand that now we want project click on project in the category section and then in the command section click on add class and then click OK and as you can see it's appeared here and it's appeared up here let me just zoom in so you can see there's the new add class button you can move it up or down depending on where you want it you can modify or reset which will remove it okay then we're wanting to do a keyboard shortcut to do the same thing so we'll click on keyboard which pulls us up into the options environment keyboard Make sure apply the following additional keyboard mapping scheme to default because we're doing it over two different uh, programming languages. If you want to specialize it, you can do so here. And then also put use new shortcut in, we want it in global. Again, if you click on it on global, you can get all the different specialties involved where you can specialize it. Then we come to show commands containing and here we just tap in project dot add class and we get project dot add class don't forget the dot please and it's all one word project dot add class is one word then we come down to press shortcut keys and here we put in our keyboard combination i personally like control backslash so to press control and backslash if your key combination is currently in use the shortcut currently used by will appear here if you just click on that you can see all the different ones now if you're using the same keyboard shortcut that's already been assigned it won't tell you when you reassign it it just assumes you know what you're doing I'll just show you we've got control backslash if I put in control space and click assign it doesn't tell you that you're reassigning now to remove one a keyboard shortcut just click remove so come back to press keyboard shortcut control backslash assign and it should come up control backslash global or whatever key combination you've put in click OK and click close on the customize so here we are so there we're, we've done with the customization let's try it out so we're in the C++ so we'll go up to the uh, standard toolbar and click on the new button add class and it pulls up the add class the standard dialog so we'll give our class a name make sure everything else is as we wish and click OK or enter we'll do the same with the C sharp click on and we've got add new item class is highlighted we'll give our class a name click enter or press add and there we go so now we'll try everything with the keyboard shortcut so we'll come up to the C++ just because to the control backslash and here we are give it a name make sure everything else is as and click OK we'll do the same with the uh, C sharp control backslash we get the add new item the class we'll give our class a name click add and there we go that's it done that's all of it done so we'll close them all and we'll save 
Okay, now let's say you don't like it or, or you don't want to do it anymore. You just click on the button that was shown before, standard toolbar options, add or remove, and scroll down to reset toolbar. And if you click on that, you get this message. Are you sure you want to reset the changes made to the standard toolbar? Click on yes, and it's gone. As you can see, the button's gone. And for this keyboard shortcut, just go to Tools, Options, Environment, Keyboard. Make sure everything else is as you want it. Default Global. Type in your project.add class. Here's your control. And click Remove. Like that. And then click OK. And the keyboard shortcut will be gone. OK. That's all for today and thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.